Honolulu police need your help catching criminals on the loose. And the ones we'll be, we'll be talking about today were all captured in the act on camera. we got to welcome back Sergeant Chris Kim with Crime Stoppers Honolulu. And Sarge, the criminals you're highlighting today, they are so blatant. Uh, I'm, I'm just tripping out. One of these videos that we'll get to in a moment, it like, just kind of blew my mind for today. But the first one was captured in Waipahu. And it's something that we've been seeing a lot lately, right? Yeah, unfortunately, this incident happened on Tuesday, November 28, 2024. I'm sorry, 2023 at about uh, 12.39 p.m. Uh, this male is kept on video surveillance breaking into this Dodge Charger. You can kind of see, kind of scopes out the vehicle. Uh, he then pulls on a door handle, which we commonly see because oftentimes people leave their doors unlocked. Mm -hmm. He then uses a punch tool and shatters the glass and oh. he then begins to pry it open, reaches in and makes off with the property. Uh, we use these videos as educational tools as well as to kind of inform the public, like don't leave anything visible within your vehicle. These people, they're just driving around looking for anything and they're gonna smash your window. It's gonna cost you $100 to replace. Uh, having said that, this male is being described as an owner male. Uh, he was all dressed in black. Uh, we'll give the information on where to see him later. That was, uh, again, just very blatant daytime, no problem, and he's like, pulling down the, the door handle right there. And again, um, I actually took your advice from the last time because mm -hmm. I typically leave my, my car door unlocked when I'm yeah. at home. I, it doesn't matter, but now every night, when I get home, I make sure I, I, I but you know, this guy, when, what you said, he used a punch tool. Yeah, so there's the actually a center punch tool that these uh, criminals are using because it basically it's spring loaded. They walk up to the window, they shatter the glass. It almost makes no noise, wow. uh, especially if the window, like in this situation where the window is tinted, it actually all came out in one piece. Uh, so having said that, we tell people, you know, always lock and secure your doors. You saw them pulling on the door handles earlier, mm -hmm. but also the main thing is don't leave anything visible within your vehicle. Yeah, that, that's a, a very good, very good tips there. Now, the next two crimes are thefts. The first mm -hmm. one happened at Home Depot. Talk to us about this one. Uh, this case on Tuesday, January 23rd at about 9.07 p.m., uh, this couple, suspect one and two, walked into the Pearl City Home Depot store, loaded this flatbed cart um, with an item that was valued at over $750 and then left without paying. Uh, they're both described as an unknown male and an unknown female. Uh, once again, I will provide the link as to where you can see these videos later. This is amazing because they're not even like, like I said, they're so blatant. They're not even wearing masks. They just load up the cart and they just walk out. Yeah, you know, <laughs> thank goodness for good video surveillance. You know, I suspect uh, as soon as this uh, broadcast is done, we actually might start getting identification on these individuals. Yeah, I was going to ask, what is the, the, the capture rate uh, with Crime Stoppers Honolulu? Actually, with video surveillance like this and with a partnership with the media and the community just getting involved, we actually very have, I don't have the percentage, but it's actually, it's not uncommon for me to leave the studio here, go back to my office, and all of a sudden see this, all the information coming as to uh, who these people are. Wow. What, what, why do you think they're so emboldened? Again, they're not wearing masks, they're not doing any of that stuff. Why, why are they feeling like so confident to go in and just just grab stuff i have no idea maybe we can do a part two with these individuals once they get caught <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll interview them as well now there's another one that happened at uh, a couple of comments talk about that one yes yeah, so as far as this incident on tuesday january 23rd at about 11 51 a.m this male entered the fighting eel store in couple of comments my understanding is this store just opened up uh it's a small business um and this male entered and he basically, you can see in the video, he actually selects and conceals an item, uh, then flees without paying. He's been described as an unknown male. Uh, he's dressed all in black as well. And you can kind of see that, uh, I mean, he had that bandana or that, that face covering, but it slipped below his jawline so you can literally see his face. But this is uh, what I'm talking about. Like, so he's probably a little bit older than mm -hmm. the first couple we saw. Yeah. And he did it, you know, he's like concealing yes. the item that he he, he lifted uh -huh. versus the other couple, it's like, no problem, just walk right outside, right out the door. Now, what should people see if, if they witness uh, any of these kinds of crimes? What should they do? Uh, first and foremost, go ahead and notify, you know, file a police report, get the process started. Uh, all these cases that we talked about earlier can be seen on the www.hunwoopd org website bottom left hand corner under wanted persons we have these cases as well as a bunch of other cases if you have any information regarding any of these individuals go ahead and contact the crime stoppers you then become eligible for it up to a thousand dollars that's amazing well sergeant chris kim from crime stoppers honolulu thanks again for coming Thank in happy valentine's happy day valentine's. all right